remembering a fallen hero from South Florida on this Memorial Day. An event was held today for Sergeant LaDavid Johnson. He was killed in an ambush attack in Niger back in 2017. Local 10's Alex Finney joins us live from Miami Gardens with how Johnson was honored today. Alex. Geo and Janice, this is truly such a moving breakfast that the city of Miami Gardens has done every single year as we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice Really, the spotlight today, of course, was Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, but we also had some other fallen, fallen heroes families there as well that we're going to introduce you to. The city of Miami Gardens remembering our fallen men and women at the Sergeant LaDavid Johnson Memorial Day breakfast. Miami Gardens still, still represent him. As they have done for the past six years, Sergeant Johnson's family, as well as other Gold Star families, were honored in the most heartfelt way. You may not be here anymore. Retired U.S. Army and Air Force veteran Maxine Reyes was the keynote speaker this year and sang a beautiful song that spoke to the sacrifices our brave men and women made, a reminder of what this day truly means. Nothing to celebrate like that. You actually, when I leave here, I'm going to my son's grave and I'm going to fix it up and put his flowers on there because it's a memory. It's something that we supposed to be remembering, not at the beach eating hot dogs. Sergeant Johnson's mother says she is still angry over what happened to her son. He wasn't properly trained when he went out there on this mission. He wasn't. So now that I see other soldiers coming back home, it makes me feel a whole lot better. A gentle reminder for her that Sergeant LaDavid Johnson is still remembered today and every day as he also lives on through his wife and three children. And, you know, one thing that we also heard as well is that all of his kids are doing wonderful. They are getting so big. The family, as, if, as for his wife and three children, they have since relocated to the Tampa area. But again, the family obviously just so grateful to the city of Miami Gardens and everyone that comes out each and every year. And as was discussed during the ceremony today, one thing they definitely know is that they will continue to have the love and support of everybody here in the South Florida community, certainly the Miami Gardens community, the community that they call home. For now, that's the very latest live in Miami Gardens. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.